Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. Uh, I've tweaked the microphone a bunch more again today. Hopefully that's done something to change it. I, I doubt it. I'm, I'm, I don't want to give up, but I might just have to buy a new microphone. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. It might be environmental. It might just be something in this room making the noise that I, again, just can't hear. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, I, I, the, the, my newest attempt, because in the past when this has happened, I updated the firmware on the microphone and that, and that did fix it. I think I mentioned this a couple of videos ago, probably, but there's currently, there's no new updates for the firmware. So I actually, this time I rolled back the, uh, the firmware on it. So I, I went with the, the most, the, uh, the previous version of the current update and ma maybe that'll fix it. I don't fucking know, man. I, I don't know, but we'll see. I don't know. But I, I want to try to get it fixed, I'm sure. For some people, it's just incredibly annoying. And, you know, if, you, if you've been sticking with me so far, being able to hear the noise, I do appreciate it. Hopefully today is different. I don't, I doubt it though. Anyway, uh, I don't like this. Minus one reroll is not like terrible. But the reason why I really don't like this, I hate initiate and I hate scoundrel. So having a pretty decently bad cur curse combined with, uh, in my opinion, pretty bad starting characters makes me just want to reroll instead here. So let's see. Oh, you know what? The game is the game's being weird again. It's not making audio in the game. So th I've had this happen before, actually, because I was tweaking the audio while the game was open. So give me one second here. I just got to gotta close the game and reopen it, and then the game's actual audio will come back. Hold on, hold on. And I got it really quick. Get the, the screen region right there. We go. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I like our starting team more. This is a better starting team. And we could just take add Slimer and then just play the game normally up until level 11. Uh, I don't hate that. And in fact, it doesn't seem too bad here. I, I don't know how I feel about uh, the add Slimer. I think there's definitely worse add 11 to 20. So I think like Fnatic 20, uh, 11 to 20 is probably worse. Um... I don't know. I'm just, let me think for a second. I guess Hero Decay isn't too bad. Although, our starting characters don't love it here. There's a, there's a lot of one-pip sides. I'm going to go add Slimer. I want to try. I don't think I've ever played with this before. I want to give it a try to see how it feels, too. But I, I think, like, I think uh, I had a, a, a streamed run where I took the, at level 11 to 20, add Wiz. And that was a really easy run. Right? So... I think, I think Slimer is harder to fight than Wizzes, for the record, but I think this shouldn't be too tough, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, we should be able to get a Flare off on Crone this turn, and then we just need to kill the Archer. Afterwards, shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, okay, well, I'll take this. I'll take this, I guess. This shouldn't have been hard, man. <laughs> This should have been easy. I don't understand what happened here. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. I think, actually, the archer does run here, too, so... It's whatever. Um... Same logic as the last video. Armor... We need to have good synergy for it, and right now we have almost Stone Cold no synergy. There is this. That's a thing that we have. That's the only synergy we have in our entire build for armor. Rogue is... I don't know. Not good. Uh, one nice thing about Rogue, having your tier 2 orange have a dodge is really nice in case you see Tarantus. Right? Often, oftentimes you have your tier 2 orange still when you see Tarantus. Um, so... I, we could take we could take her. It's not the worst. I, don't, I, I like cantrip characters in general. But this is probably on average one of the weaker characters in, on orange. I don't know though. Oh, you know what? Look at that. I'm out here talking shit, and then game says, uh, fuck off, I guess. So who are we killing here? My gut is killing Wolf first. Because the cruel side doesn't matter where we put it. There's no advantage to crueling a specific enemy over another here. Anywho. Poison's fine. We could roll for more cantrips, but I think we can play this one slow here. We don't have to go too crazy. 
we're in a pretty good position no matter uh, how we play it. So. Guess we just let the, let the wolf die to poison here. And then rat. Rat has a shot at winning this. I'm not going to say it's a 0% chance, but um, he never had great odds there. How do you, how do you guys feel about wine? Because I feel like wine is weird. It's kind of interesting, though. I think Emerald Shard here is probably the correct take. Because on average, Emerald Shard will probably be more useful than wine is. Because, you know, on average, a tier 2 is better than a tier 1. Or, you know, again, a, a random tier 2, which is how we should evaluate this, is better than a random tier 1. So I think we'll take the Emerald Shard. Does nothing currently. But I think we'll be okay. And I think we'll go without equipping. Okay, Thorns not outputting too much damage here so far. Unfortunately, I was going to say... We have the row, which would be very annoying with uh, fighting the thorns here. But we can get, like, anything off of you. There you go. That's what I was looking for. That's what I wanted. And we burst here, hit here, and thorn runs away. I accept. Uh, man, Sparky doesn't seem very good here. Vampire's fine. I, don't, I think we, we take Spark here. There's a very good chance we do just lose to this troll. <laughs> I think it's it's a non-zero chance. Vampire will output on average more than than uh than what's it called would than Sparky. I think here. So we'll take that. If we can get like a poison hit on Rogue here early, that'd be pretty good. I'll settle for this though. That is pretty solid. Ooh. This is a pretty good round. We can take these. Right? Hit, hit. Get some mana. Put a block probably on Fighter here. He's the lowest HP unit out of the, the bundle there. Okay. Going for another big swing. I don't think we keep taking this. It's neat, but no. No, thank you. I'll take these. And I'm, I'm looking for poison. I mean, the rogue did four damage this turn. It's kind of hard to complain. Like, you know, sometimes just rolling a cantrip over and over again is not terrible. I will, Listen, I hate these items. I will take a random tier two here. Incense, I don't think is very good for us, and it and doesn't work with Emerald Shard. Same with Big Hammer. I mean, it works with Emerald Shard, but it's very... They, they both work with the shard. They just both suck. So I'm instead going to take a random tier two here. Okay, this is something. I think that we can put this here. We can put this here. And that's like kind of not terrible. I think we can play with this and not be, you know, appalled. Mm. Let's need to kill the illusions here. Okay. Pretty good round. Want a poison slimer here, I think. And then... I just burst the illusion to stop the weaken. I think that's fine. Slimer does break off a chunk here from the poison. But like, whatever. He can eat shit and die. I don't give a, I don't give a shit about him. Uh, block four is not terrible this round. Seems okay. We can, we can, this is another situation where we can kind of just play things slow here and not worry too much. I don't want another block four. Okay. Um, we hit here. You block five there. You heal here. And I mean, the Slimer is dying to poison, so... We don't have to be in a giant rush, but... It's not the exact insane line we were looking for, I think. Okay. I will accept this. Goodbye. Uh, I don't hate Warden here. I think Warden makes sense. Warden can hold the Buckler pretty well, too. It is just like a strict upgrade of a Bloodlust on the middle side there. And I think we go... Probably like this. I like having the Cantrip open on Rogue. Okay. Can we overkill it all here? I don't think so, right? Like, none of our characters have the capacity to do this. I guess... Oh, actually, we could with Flare. 
Okay, Flare can get us there on an overkill. Okay. Uh, I think we need, like, one cantrip side here or something. Oh, that works, too. Oh, this also is just enough as well. I don't know what I'm doing here, man. Okay. That's fine. For some reason, I thought we needed to get him down to 1 HP to Flare, and it's like, that's way too much overkill. Never mind. I'm being kind of dumb. Uh, I think we're supposed to take the two random tier 2 items here because we have the, the Emerald Shard, right? The urn is pretty bad. Glass Blade's fine until we lose it, and then we feel bad. But I think we have this opportunity to try to get a lot of value out of the shard here. Let's try, right? Okay. So, uh, wait a second, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, does this? So you, you put this on the yellow hero, and then it, it applies it to, to like, for example, are you fucking kidding me? That's so sick. Yo, that's so good. Holy. A uh, gambler's ace is nothing here, obviously. That's so sick with it. Guess this goes here still. Oh no, I. I don't know. You go like here, maybe. Then like and then, like this. What do you do here? I don't know. My gut is telling me for now, just do this. Just do this. Don't worry about anything else. I like. I mean, listen. This is f fucking sick. <laughs> this is so cool. What a what a sick nasty combo that I didn't know existed in this game. Yellow or golden thread giving any other characters non damage sides plus one all. That's gonna be really good. Okay, let's move on. He's just rolling three mana, dude. He's a mage. How's he doing it? He's 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 moving different, etc. Um I do need to keep the vampire alive. So I think I'm actually gonna try to roll for a shield side on warden here. Here gets a pretty good shield. So we can uh just double we don't even want to flare, we want a double burst to kill the quartz here. Mm. They would just like full block on the slate too. Boom. Boom. Get a little poison in the mix. He, de he deals one damage. Yo, this is so fucking cool, man. Oh, Slate wants to leave. You know Slate? Absolutely. Have a good day. I'll see you. I'll see you never. Um. Mm. I think I'm supposed to just take Soldier here. I don't love Seer. Soldier utilizes the, uh, the, whatever it's called, the golden thread at least somewhat well, right? Has two sides to get the bonus from it, and then, you know, I think it's fine. I think Seer, we don't really need, uh, and I like having the mage hat with the, with the, the big mana, right? So, that's pretty cool. Mm. And maybe it's, I, I mean, I'm trying to think here, what, what blue character do we have that we also try to utilize buckler, buckler with here, right? Because the problem with Buckler... Or, I don't know why I said it like that. The, the problem with Buckler is that um, we need a... Like, I, I think no matter what we do here, this will be probably the best used on a blue character, right? Probably, not definitely, but probably. Um, and the question is... Which blue character doesn't mind also holding the shield? Because if we put shield, for example, like down here, right? Then... You know, mage gets the shield. And we can't put the thread down here because it has to go onto the soldier, right? So, how do we do it? I don't know. What's funny is we can do this as well, which is not good. But it does give us five, five mana side. But that's terrible. This is so much better. Okay. Uh, let's play. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just pumped here. This is so cool. Phil, you don't get many days where you get to do something you've never done before in this game. Although it's not that crazy, it is just neat to me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, one health all does counteract the uh, the damage coming in here, right? And we get to block there. Uh, I think we just work on killing this bell. We should get a pretty easy flare next round. 
We do need to heal Vampire. Okay, that does heal Vampire. Pop a Flare here. Does Bell run if we burst? It'll be close. I'm just gonna burst to see if he runs. Get out of here, Bell. Stinky. Nope, he didn't want to go. Okay. Goodbye. And... Uh, cracked wheel. Cracked wheel. Not terrible on Soldier currently. Uh, but not that good. Mini crossbow is pretty solid here. I don't know who we give it to right now. I guess the vampire actually is pretty good on. I'm down for a mini crossbow. Having another character having the capacity to hit four is also a lovely thing. So... Especially in this fight, being able to one-shot Bones and Imps is kind of cool. Although we do have cantrips. There we go. Speak of the devil. We do have cantrips coming in and messing that up occasionally. Not a huge deal, but it is something to keep in mind. Let's try this again. Good good dodge, Rogue. Great work. Uh, I think we just kill the Bones here. I think it's a better use of our time. Could have killed a, a grave instead, which is making a bone. Well, killing the bones kills the graves, too. I don't know. I don't think it matters too much. Okay. Kill here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's over for these guys. Uh, I think Glacia has to be the pick here, because Glacia is going to be so good with plus one to all of the non-damage sides. This is so sick, man. I know I'm, like, gushing a lot, but it's so cool. Man. Okay. It's, it's, uh, it's, this is, like, this was a tier one item, right, is doing this to us. That's so crazy. I thought Scar was good in the last video. Can you believe this shit? Okay, we have two enemies that, uh, it would be nice to kill here. Um... Did we take the block? Probably. We can take the, the health all, too. That's not too bad, either. Okay, we no longer could engage on the zombie. Not that we really would here at this point, but... Eh. Uh, I guess we just we just hit the hit the ghost here. I think I think the plan is... Oh, you know what we could, we could do as well? Which is pretty good here. Chilling on zombie just reduces our damage intake by, like, six... That seems pretty good. We don't. I was gonna say we could, we could, we could uh, flare the zombie to get the instant kill. We can't do that. We're not, we're not mage anymore. We're Glacia now, right? But uh, you know, did I settle on two mana before? I actually wasn't paying attention. That's definitely the wrong decision. We have so much more mana to make now potentially. I'll take these. I'll take this too. Okay. Uh. I think I was supposed to poison here. The poison's worth more. Hold on, no, we don't do that. We do this. Okay, because the poison, the poison hit does more than than uh on the zombie than 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 burst and the ghost does. I know I'm mumbling and 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 speaking incoherently, but trust me, what I'm saying makes sense. Believe me. Yeah, we don't want this. I think seeing a two mana sun and glacier is like, oh, that's so good. Keep, keep. And it's like, no, idiot, don't keep that. It's not good anymore. You fucking buffoon. Poison's not terrible here, but we should have we we have the lethal on zombie already, so you know. There you go. Uh blindfold versus chalk room. I don't hate taking the blindfold just for the uh speculative barbarian slash roulette pick. So I'm okay with that. Does nothing currently. We can, I don't know. There you go, Warden. You're blind. Oh, the Slimers are here now. It is time. We are at combat 11, I think, probably. I'm, I haven't been paying attention, but I assume that's why this fucker is here. Okay. Mm, I'll settle, I think, on this. I don't want to... I want to get an engage hit on Spiker here, and I don't want to risk Rogue can't tripping again into the Spiker. And then, man, big, big moves today. 
Uh, put this on Warden. I don't think it matters too much. Where we block specifically. Let's chill here to prevent a little bit of damage. Get Splike. Get Spliker. Get Slime one burst away from kill. That seems like a pretty advisable maneuver. Mana me. Yeah, let's just see how things look this round. It looks pretty, pretty easy to me. Uh, kill you. Poison spiker this round. And I guess... I don't know, block Glacia? At the end of the day, right? Warden is less important than Glacia, so... If Warden dies, is tragic, but we we, we, can't, we would like Glacia to be full health going into combats as opposed to uh, Warden going in with full health, if that makes sense. Either way, we're crushing this fight. Like, I'm not even remotely close to being concerned here. But, like, if we were in a situation where it's like, oh, we can choose between trying to keep Glacia, full, uh, you know, alive this combat versus Warden. Glacia is just stronger here because of how fucking busted... Uh, she is in this setup, so she's more important, or he's more important. I don't know. Uh, I want to keep our options for Barbarian open. Curator's probably pretty good here, if we're being honest, but Curator does, importantly, have no bonuses on the Golden Thread. Not that that's a deal breaker or anything, but it's not nothing. It's not nothing that we have no bonuses there. So I think Insurgent, Insurgent's good enough. Surgeon's fine here. Surgeon actually arguably maybe holds the uh, the shard here better at this point. We'll have to think about that in this bit, but I'll take Surgeon now. If we put... If we put... Mm, I guess this goes here now, huh? It's pretty good. But, like, if we do this, that looks pretty impressive too, right? But I, I actually think it still goes on Glacia. I think we care about just consistency here. And making one pips to two pips is like kind of in a weird way better than making two pips into three pips also keep in mind we have like all all of these sides are pretty decent the mana gain heals are probably the more important sides but the shield heals and the double heals are not terrible right they're all pretty good glacia these sides are pretty lackluster generally speaking like the one pip shields and the one pip mana bumping them up to two Again, it's like, it's like it's like one to two is a bigger jump than two to three. I know it makes no sense, but like think of it like percentage wise, right? It's a one hundred percent increase going from one to two. It's a fifty percent increase going from two to three. That's that's just math, and I know it doesn't mean anything here really because math is in a lot of ways meaningless sometimes in a game like this. But trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> okay, we can get the slimer kill turn one. Yeah, I, I gotta remember. I gotta like muscle memory myself. Stop trying to take this. On, on roll one is not that good here. I'm actually going to take this too, actually, to stop myself from accidentally uh, proccing a, uh, what's it called? A cantrip on Slimer, because it is important that we get the engage hit on Slimer this round. Um, God, we have so much mana. I think we're actually in a situation where we, where we prefer using burst defensively. Because we are just a, overall a very defensive team here. We have a lot of big shields. Uh, Surgeon, a defensive healer as well, obviously. There are some, I mean, most healers are defensive, right? But some are definitely more offense oriented, depending on what you see. Um, I think this is okay to pick up here. I can't, is that, what is that, three? That's two, okay. Try again. Okay. Oh, that's actually really sick. I was going to say, like, oh, it's only dodging two damage. It's dodging a Petrify, so that's actually really good news for us. Uh, so let's kill some of these bones that are causing some problems uh, down south here. And then we can do, like, this into this, and no one dies. Which is pretty cool. Beyond that, we probably want to burst this bones, because it'll also chain reaction kill the Slimelet, which is preventing a lot of damage being dealt to us. Again, we're we're just able to be a very defensive team here. Which is cool. Okay, we have another petrification coming in here. We don't really have any cleanse or anything to stop it. I think our goal this round is to get to that lich, get to the, the nougaty center of this lich here, and then pop it with a chill to prevent the uh 
to prevent the adverse effects, if you will. So that's good news. Okay, I was just thinking. I was, I was just looking to make sure. I, wa I wanted to make sure killing the bones didn't trigger the list to summon a new skeleton, which was a very real possibility there, but it did not. Oh, hold on. Um, chill out. Put the heal here. Yeah, we we could maybe get like a little unlucky and like the lich just like chain uh chain hits us with with uh what's it called? Uh, petrifies. That like in theory is possible, but realistically, it's not gonna happen. We actually I think want to high roll here for either three mana or a weaken because two shield is the same as two mana. It like is not different for us. So okay. I guess we put the heal on Glacia as well again. I guess we just have to use a burst here. I mean, we don't have to, obviously, but the B, you know, we, we have, you know, mana burn there if we don't play it. Give me the heals. I'll, I'll settle on two damage here. We don't need to go too crazy. It looks like Surgeon, though, is going to get hit. Not much we can do to stop Surgeon from getting clipped on this one. Uh, well, I want, I want to get a poison onto the, uh, onto the lich this round. So let's do it this way. I mean, I guess we just do this too. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Man, it's just, we're, we're, we're built different today. I don't know. It's maybe actually kind of a little too easy for me today. I shouldn't be talking like this. Something terrible is about to happen. Uh, let's see what we got here. Any cool synergies that I can think of here with Nunchaku? Uh, I mean, in theory... Oh, no, actually we can. We have a sick combo here. We have mana gain on heals, and then we have mana gain on the shield side. So if we put Nunchaku on Glacia... Fuck me, man. It's gonna be... This is so sick. This might be actually just a Glacia keep. I doubt it. That seems unlikely. But it might be. It could, in theory, be. Who knows? You know what would be really good? I bet I bet Wizard's actually pretty sick for us right now. The the attack size don't get bonus by the uh, Emerald Shard, but the other four sides get, get plus one by default from a... Again, from a tier one item. So Wizard's probably not terrible for us here. I mean, you're gonna give me three mana. I'll take three mana here. I'm not gonna scoff at a little three mana hit. Okay. Uh, I am a little bit worried here. If we kill Slimer though this round, killing Slimer just means that no one dies, which is pretty sweet. Though I do want to at least proc Ghost and Tangibility too. I'm gonna roll one more time for both of you two. Okay, this is probably pretty good. Mm. I think the correct line here is actually going to be to burst into the cruelty hit here. And then we can break the intangibility. And then I think the last thing we do actually is chill slate to prevent 10 damage for two mana. That seems pretty solid. Now, hopefully these slimeless don't roll super well here. Because this is a lot of damage coming in. I'll settle on the 50-50 there. That's that's okay. Now, Rogue Dodge would also be pretty nice this round. Would not hate seeing that at some point. Uh, we may end up having to just go for killing instead. All right, so we can kill here. Uh, we're, we're fine here overall. And then put the block there. It's like a little sloppy, I think, but like it's pretty good. We have potentially cantrips to, to break down this slate faster. Okay, no cantrips this round. Get a lot of shields though, which is pretty good. 
Okay, let's look at things for a second. Ooh, this is actually kind of stinky. Oh, we have a shield here too. Okay. It's less stinky than I originally thought. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, the AoE here. Not that it's not that spooky this round. I really want the I, I just want to see the Nunchaku hit. I know it doesn't matter here. We've already won the combat, but come on, Glacia, you can do it. Okay, or not. You're, he's a little, little nervous. It's fine. It's okay to be nervous right now, Glacia. Okay. Warlock is a great caster. And obviously, giving these three mana sides plus one is pretty strong. But I think there, I just think there are probably better casters for us here with the with this setup and venom is just a very strong tier three uh orange i think we're supposed to take venom and just find a character that utilizes and maybe again it might just be glacia the whole time like this is a this is a really strong a really strong caster we currently have especially it operates well with surgeon too i think wizard is the pick actually when i think about it more because Wizard also has, or yeah, Wizard also has the shields, I believe. If I, if I remember correctly, let me double check it. I believe Wizard is the one that has shields on the top and bottom of the dice too. Yes, exactly. So that also being a Ninchaku synergy, I think makes me want to go with this. However, what Sorcerer is really sick here too, because the the reroll gets two procs. Also with Ninchaku, the cantrips proc off of each other, right? So that would be very strong. Sorcerer might be the best caster for our current setup, but I think Warlock is actually worse than these two. Although maybe I'm investing too much in the items. I need to just remember that like Warlock spell is insanely strong. I don't know. Um, Warlock works pretty decently well with Surgeon too, because the the shield uh, heals are pretty good with Pain side. But I just I, I I'm gonna trust myself here. I'm gonna take Venom. And uh, I think this will be good. Okay, Warden's the only one dying this round. We can do better on you. I think we're supposed to block the poison on Troll, actually, which is kind of weird. But it will prevent a lot of just damage overall. Although, there is an argument to be made that we want to get poison so that way we can proc a really big, juicy uh, plague round or plague turn. Uh, at some point, but that's not super necessary, I don't think. Um, let's try this again. We can kill Slimer round one. That's pretty good. This is solid. We definitely do this. Kill the Slimer. I guess just block here. And then... I guess we poison the troll. Feels kind of bad to use that one damage hit on the troll and then and then it just heals it right back again. Arguably, we should poison the spiker, though, because we want to get less direct contact attacks with it, but I don't know. I don't think it matters a ton either way. Okay, well, give, me, give me the mana heal. Come on, Surgeon. Mana heal me. Son of a bitch. We're still fine. I just wanted to do the big, cool combo. Maybe next time. Uh, now I'll put this onto the spiker, I believe. And start whittling his ass down. I think put the chill on troll here. Again, it's like, you know, prevents 10 damage, which is pretty good here. I guess the ward's already blocking it. Actually, with that in mind, hold on. Nah, you're getting the heal. Yeah, this is fine. We can wait till, we can wait till later to, to chill. It's not urgent. And with both of these fools, one of them will probably do an AoE attack again. Or not. Okay. We'll take this. Finally, we get the combo. Took so long to get it. Um. He just burst here, probably. Little shielding, little shielding. Actually, I don't hate chilling this round, too. 
And then... Let's keep on bursting the troll. I, I, you know what? Maybe, maybe the line here, like the plan, should just be playing Venom in a super defensive team. Right? Because that's basically what we have right now, and it will be strong. Mm. There you go. Can I please click you? Thank you. Uh, item. Invest seems pretty good here. Second chance, uh, it's fine on Venom, I suppose. It's actually pretty good on Venom. When I think about it more, the fact that Venom has these single use sides means as the fight does drag on, getting some, uh, you know, more consistency out of Venom will be pretty good. So I'm okay. I'm okay with it here. It's probably the most amazing item ever. Although, oh my God, I just read the the three random tier two items. I can't, I gotta do it. We're so, we're, we're, come on. I have to do it, I'm sorry. Like, it's not, we're not missing out on that much, okay? It has to be done. Okay. So, Citrine, Citrine Ring is just good here, right? It is just a, a, a benefit. So, do we, do we get Flickering Blade in the mix? I don't think so. But, no, because it, 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 it doesn't get bonus by the Emerald Shard. You can put it, like, over here, but then it puts it on Glacia, right, which is not that good. Ring has to go somewhere, though. Ring for sure goes somewhere. Unfortunately, the longbow isn't that good here, either. We got a ring out of it, so the ring's pretty sweet. The, the, this is pretty good. Well, tell me this. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I think I like the, I like the, uh, the range attack more. But yeah, now we, we've made Glacia. You're not going to believe it. Even better. Crazy. So. Alpha's trying to summon, but the overall damage output this round is very low. We could weaken the summon. Or. Or we can try to roll for a shield side here. I'm down to actually go for the shield. The summon does not actually scare me that much this round. Um... Got yeah, a lot of poison coming in. Good, we could save the cleanse here. I don't think we do that. I think we just go on on the offensive. I'll settle on the two damage roll. Two poisons, good. Okay. Tragic. Did you actually you rolled this and then you rolled the 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 two mana side twice? That is unfortunate. Uh, poison the alpha here. Probably shield and venom because they're poisoned. I guess we chill just to stop the summon now. It's kind of lame, but I don't know. I don't see another great great way around it. Okay. There's going to be a lot of damage incoming. Uh, music? Hello? Hmm. That was a little unusual. Okay, give me the mana shield here. Ah, oh, man. I think, again, we just take damage. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's look at things right now. Now that we have this, we can do, like, uh, heal into shield here, probably. And then we have a lot to work with. I think we have to... Actually, no, we don't have to kill the Alpha here. The Alpha here is not that big of a deal. Right? I think the main issue is just how much poison is coming in. So let's do something like this. Into this. And then we probably just kill this snake down here too. Right? Something like that. And put this shield here. And I guess... We poison this Alpha now. Okay. We are kind of unhealthy. However, we are very poisoned, so if, if Venom rolls the Plague side, we're going to hit for a trillion damage, which is pretty sweet. Hmm. I think most of these are pretty good. Let's just look at things for a moment. Oh, we have to heal Glacia, otherwise she just dies no matter what, which sucks. We 
can do this into this into this. But it does feel like we're kind of just stalling here. Hmm. Okay, let's look at things. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. Maybe we do just like Glacia die this round because of the poison. And maybe we try to go more more preventative here. I think we need to get more damage out of the soldier and warden this round. I think the shields are not that practical. I think we can you know let's actually let's actually reroll this too. Because the shield the shield heal is pretty bad this round as well. You know, I should I, I like these actually quite a bit. I'm realizing too we should maybe be re-rolling re Venom for the plague side to get like big damage out. But this is pretty good news. Um hmm. This is ultimately not much better than the last round I was looking, but it is definitely better. Okay. I think we actually need, like, cleanse from Venom now. I think it's time for Venom to roll the cleanse side or the big poison side. Double heal doesn't look too bad. Let's, let's just analyze. Hold on. So, like, we can, we can here is fine. We can kill Wolf there. Hmm. I mean, Glacia dies because of this snake, pretty much. And we can't kill the snake, realistically, this round. Okay. I think we pretty much reroll everything except for the, the three damage hit, because that's pretty good. Okay, this is very good news for us. I think this is this maybe saves us. Let me let me let's look at things here. So you can just kill the, the slimer. Which is sweet, right? We can kill you, which is very good as well. And then we have. The snake I want to kill. And then what? This is very bad. What did I use the heal on before? Did I use it? Hmm. Kill you, kill you, right? I use this on like Venom, maybe? And then we just like try to save, I don't know. I, th I think I see the line. I don't love how the line's looking, but I think I see it. I think we save Surgeon. I think we save Warden. And I think we leave enough mana to hopefully operate after a surgeon rolls a mana roll again. And then from there, I think we can we can win. So we, we've, we've put ourselves in a bad position here. I'm not going to lie. But I think this, again, we just have to roll, we got to roll the mana sides here, and then we can operate and then hopefully come back. Hopefully the slime was roll terribly here too. Okay, they didn't roll amazingly, but they didn't roll terribly either. Yeah, I'll take this. We need the mana. How does this look, actually? Hold on. We do this. Okay, we, we actually just maintain around. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this to get a new reroll. We're making progress. Okay, we go again. Uh... We once again are maintaining here. I'm also okay with this. Okay. And if Warden if Warden rolls the uh 
the kill shot here. On um, Wolf, that'd be pretty sweet too. Okay, once again, how does this look? We go like this. That's not better, I don't think. No. Okay, we are we're we're still maintaining. Maybe what we do here? No, I mean, hold on. Actually, wait, hold on. If we burst the slimelet this round, I kind of really like this line. I think I think we win from here. <laughs> okay. We don't have to go for the operate anymore. We should just be able to kill this wolf. Oh, okay, there. That does it. That does it. Okay. That that was spooky. It's Tarantus. <laughs> Hello, Tarantus. Venom, prepare to die again. Um, we're not playing ace here. Veteran, you're actually probably one of the better yellows we could have gotten here because he does also utilize the, the thread well. That's fine. Unfortunately, no blindfold value for us today. Not going to happen. Oh, well. It's whatever. Uh, we'll look at the trial here, but yeah, it's just not, it's not happening. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, Tarantus summoning is maybe like the actual best case scenario here, round one. I'll take this. I'll take these as well. And we're looking for that mana heal, and we get the mana heal. Very cool. Uh, put a block. I don't know. Probably on Venom. No, Venom, Venom doesn't matter because Venom's going to get eaten by Tarantus and we can't stop it. Uh, so put it on Veteran then. Oh, definitely poison here. I think we're supposed to kill you and then chill you this round. Okay. This seems more manageable. Okay, we get the combo again. Very nice. Let's just look at things for a moment. Do we just burst Slimer into Oblivion? That might be the, the strategy here. He's being a real dickhead. I think that's okay. And just put the block here, whatever. Okay. So Garden, or guard Guardian. Warden is very poisoned. Venom is dying this round no matter what. I think that's okay. I actually just don't hate the double heal here. Just to keep uh, Warden healthy. We should... Oh, the Warden's weakened. I was going to say, like, we should try to roll better than a one shield and Warden, but, like, he can't. He's, he's debilitated this round. We do this. Venom dies. Boo-hoo. Rantis makes a billion more spiders but dies to poison next round, so as long as we can just keep Surgeon alive, this should be good. And I actually think we'll just kill Tarantus this round here because this is a lot of poison coming in. I'll take that. There you go. We can kill one spider here. I guess we'll kill one of the ones that's poisoning Glacia. And we'll just keep Warden healthy. Okay. I think we have managed to recover. Maybe the enemy's just super high roll. I noticed a lot of the snakes did roll double poison hits last round. Or last combat, I should say. So maybe they were high rolling. I don't know. But, um... I think we'll be fine. Mm. Kill Spider... Kill Slime. Hold on. Will Spider run here? No. Almost certainly not. But we, we came out of this literally the best we could, right? Like, you know, the best case scenario was just losing one person because of the, uh, the Tarantus.
Not a great fairy dust line here, but the problem is that we don't have much to go on with with uh, Trident either. I guess it's like okay on Veteran, arguably better on Venom. But I think this is a random tier eight because I don't see Trident being that useful. I mean, it's, it's good against Wiz, I suppose, but like we can probably do better. Uh, we know it's kind of cool here that we can make this wand uh like this, which is pretty neat. We can give Veteran, we can give Veteran instead of a three damage side, we can give it a, a two perma boost, which is pretty cool. I'm down with that. That makes sense to me personally. Now we do need to kill this Hydra. And what sucks here is that even if we do kill the Hydra, um, the Venom still facing lethal damage here pretty much. Although I'm realizing that we have a really strong turn here. Check this shit out. You do this. We've generated quite a bit of mana here. We will use to kill the Hydra. This seems pretty good. Um, I think I'll put the shield on Warden then. And... Pass the turn. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I, I, man, I just think we're gonna have to play Glacia, man. <laughs> I don't know. Again, there are there are potentially better characters we could see. I, I do think that Sorcerer is gonna be really strong in this team. Um, the same for Wizard too. Wizard will be very strong. Especially, yo, th imagine this, right? We we enhance Wand onto the Wizard, and then we get the we get the Mana Gain uh, combos going. It'll be crazy. Uh, we could weaken here just to stop Slimer from doing any damage this round. Which is fine enough, I guess. We don't have to go too crazy. We do get to kill Wiz too, which is nice. Okay. We can go back and play the Surgeon uh, d Shield on Venom. I'm not going back. You can't make me. You can't make me go back. I refuse. Okay, uh, kill you. Kill you guys? Okay, cool. Um, what are you doing? Add heavy to all sides. All damage sides, I should say. Mm, I don't think it's Chrono. I think, I think this Glacia is better than Chrono. Is Twin good here? Also, no. <laughs> I think this is actually a skip. And we'll just try to find a better gray, and then we'll keep the Glacia at this point. Like, I don't know, man. I'm curious what you, the viewer, would do here. I just, I just, dude, I don't think Chrono is that good here comparatively, right? Like, we get the reroll boosted. Uh, but no one else has growth side, so we don't get the nunchuck combo. It doesn't seem that good here. It's a better spell. It's a, a definitely better spell. I will admit that for sure here. But Chill has its uses. And I'm not taking Twin. So this is actually, I think, just an actual skip. Which is really interesting. And I think that's the right choice. I am not breaking the Nunchuck here. This is like a, a build-defining item for us right now. Heavy targeting is going to be annoying here for sure. We could get the combo, though. I'll take this just to make sure we don't whiff on the combo. Didn't get the combo. Tragic. I also put this on Glacia, though. Um, I'd like to poison you, because you're kind of a fucking rat bastard. Put this here. I kind of like bursting the wisp down to stop Glacia from being pained. Glacia's going to roll sick, nasty numbers next combat. And and being, being pained will be a, a huge amount of self-inflicted damage there, so I do not love that. We did kind of spend all of our mana doing that, though, which is not good. As you can see, we're facing a lot of damage. Uh, we can roll all of these. Okay, the play side is okay here. It's not amazing. I'll take this, too, I think. Dude, we can't get the combo off, man. It is tragic. Um... So, hmm, hold on, 
Put this here. Put this probably here. First you twice. Oh, Glacia's still dying? That sucks. Okay, well, in that case... Okay, well... Huh. I don't want Surgeon to die either. Hold on. Let me think here. Let's see. Uh, can you do double blocks here, I guess? Put this block here. Okay, everyone lives. It's a very narrow margin there. But everyone lives this way. Slimer dies too, which is nice. And we should be able to mow through all these little squishy guys, hopefully. Okay. So much damage coming in, man. Do I just settle on five here? I think I gotta go for the shield. Okay, these are good. I need like a cleanse here too, actually. I think it'd be better for us. One more try. Dude, they refuse to do the combo today. I don't know what the issue is. Okay. Not helping that the slimelets also both roll damage. It does kind of suck for us too. I think they're gonna be the two burst targets here, probably. Something like this into kill you kill you and i think veteran drops here but this seems pretty winnable afterwards okay especially if we can get the combo although we are very lucky on targeting to this round um Let's look at things for a moment. Okay, yeah. This is a winning position. Guess we heal here. Okay. Warden. Watch out. Take cover. Okay. That was a little sketchy. I'm not going to deny it. Uh, silk cape here. What is what is silk cape do? I guess we're supposed to put it on Venom. In theory, but I'd, oh, maybe put it on Surgeon. I guess it makes the combo much more consistent, actually. I'm pretty okay with that. It's not like the most insane silk cape play ever. It seems pretty good to me. We'll pretty much almost always hit what we're trying to get here. I don't hate that. Time stone. Not that useful. We could go for the random here, but I'm willing to take just the cape. Be pretty happy with that. Okay. And just like that, baby, we're back in it. The combo. Okay, this actually seems pretty good too here. Uh, maybe we should reroll veteran to get a four damage side to kill a zombie. I think that's fine. I don't think we need the shield that desperately on on vet veteran here. Or he can roll a shield again. Whatever, that's fine. I'm not even like angry about it. Is the thing like it doesn't even like bother me. Like I'm like just that chill about it and stuff. Okay. Uh, what am I doing here though? I guess I'm just chilling on like Slimer. 
And then maybe bursting. I, I'm probably using a burst defensively, actually, here. I'm probably bursting on Warden to keep him healthy because he's going to get a pain this next turn. I think that's fine. Okay. There you go. There you go, bud. That's what we're looking for. Plants is pretty good here on Venom, too. I like that. In your pain, so I guess we'll just take the four, the four shield. Although, eh, yeah, whatever. Okay, guys, come on, the combo, please. Okay, well, surgeon did their job. That's good. Uh, I guess we kill you. What else do we do here? I don't know. I guess one thing that does suck about Glacia as our as our caster is that it is not easy to uh, actually leverage your mana for much. It's like a downside to it. All you can do is you have like eight mana, but all you can do is just burst for eight damage, right? Maybe we're supposed to take Warlock, man. We're never hitting our sick combo too. Our characters refuse to roll the right side of their dice. Come on. Okay, we didn't hit the combo again. Surprise, fucking surprise. We're just toast, man. I don't know what we do here. I guess we just play. We just hit the combo next turn, and then we just start operating. Like besides that, I don't know. What, I don't know what else we do. Dude, this sucks. Okay, finally they didn't roll amazingly strong this round either. So that's that's good news for us here. Okay, come on, Glacia, roll the combo. Okay, we've done it. You get to operate twice now. What sucks about this though? is that we are going into the next combat with at least three dead characters. Or three half-health characters. Which is not a great place to be, obviously. Now they've decided to play the game. Now they're like, oh shit, time to, time to fucking play. I see how it is, video game. Okay, I guess we just operate again, I don't know. The warden's not worth that much to us here. Maybe we just kill the imp. You know what we do? I think we I think we keep these three and try to roll a four damage side here to kill the zombie. There we go. Very good news for us. Uh you just do something like this. Okay. We can, we can do this as well so that way the Hellfire gets broken now. That seems okay. This does not look too bad, actually. It looks worse than it really is, I'm pretty sure. And once again, we do hit the combo, so that's good news. Uh, we burst you down here. Past turn. Imp summoning this round, so... Uh, these all suck. Try again. Okay. I mean, this is, this is fine. Oh. Of course I have to... Can I please... There we go, thank you. Okay. It was, it was again. And many times very, very close there, but we make it. We're against the dragon. Let me think for a second here. I've been mentioning many times wizard would be, would be good for us, right? Hmm. 
Ah, mm. oh, man. I think it's Wizard. I think we take the Wizard. I think it'll be pretty good. I, th I think Weaken's not... Or Chill's not going to be that good against Dragon. If, we, if he hits, like, the big poison, Chill will be nice. But I think the plan right now is just to go sicko mode with Wizard. Same exact line here, right? Um, what's nice is that if we just make enough mana too, in theory, we can just inspire into your own chain. That's an option that we have as well there. We have two of these damn perma boost wands. Wizard should be strong. Now, of course, the fucker immediately poisons. So that's not great news. But we get a sick, nasty combo right away. So I think we'll be okay here. So we do this into this, into this here. And we get to, uh, hold on. Get shield into Inspire as well. Let's do something like this, I suppose. Probably just cleanse on Wizard, I think. He's more important, if we're being frank. Um... And you just get the burst for 10 trillion damage. I think we'll take the Slimer out first. Okay. Now, what's nice about this currently is that uh, these two being very poisoned means that Venom will do a ton of damage if Venom ever rolls the Plague side. So I like that. Now, Warden's not super important to keep alive here. Let's be let's be transparent about that. He does not matter too much today. Mm. Let me think for a second here, right? Because we have four Parma boosts. It's kind of sick. Uh... Does this wizard win the game on his own? Is like the real question because it's really close, right? He's got plus six to all sides. Um, I think so. And the real reason why is because uh, we're going to generate infinite mana and then we're just going to operate next turn and bring everyone back who died this round. So I think, I think this is actually really neat and cool and we're going to do that. Okay. Now, ideally, we roll the, uh, the what's it called side here. We can roll whatever. It's fine. The shield would be better. Damage is pretty good, too. Okay, so you hit Caw, Inspire, hit Dragon, double Operate. And unfortunately, Venom does die here because the dragon is biting him. And we can't really stop that. But I don't know if you noticed, we're going to make 14 more mana next turn. Which means we're going to bring him back again. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, this is the big turn. I think we have lethal here, right? Because we just do this. Oh, well, we, hold on, we did the order wrong. Uh, we do this. And then we uh, do this again, and now we have 33 mana. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's pretty solid here. I will I will accept uh, my my win. It was very obviously uh, a little a little iffy at some points in that run, but I had faith that that our emerald shard would win, uh, and it got there. It got there. Obviously, wizard just fucking crazy. Veteran rolling this early, the enhanced wand right away, also very good, too. So, uh, yeah. It was a cool run. Just a neat one. Dragon might have been the best case boss for us to see as well there. That's debatable, too. Um, because against Hexia, it would have been much harder to do that, the Operation Anakin's. But also against Hexia, like, we wouldn't have died as quickly because we didn't get, you know, we wouldn't have gotten immediately super poisoned. So, ah, what are you going to do? Stats here, <laughs> a lot of death. A lot of death on this run. Uh, 11, 
to be total and to be or, or to total it there right but uh how do i feel about slimer slimer did i i think actually add slimer was a big part of why we have so much issues there because usually when you have like one of these curses that adds an enemy to the end of the game right you kill the enemy and it's gone but with slimer it puts those little slimes in there right and they need to be addressed because they're they're you know sometimes hitting if you get if you get lucky they don't hit but it's like a lot of you know meat added to the field that you have to handle so i think i think add slimer was actually causing and that's why we died so much at the end there i think is kind of my analysis right now but i don't know maybe i played poorly too but uh who cares wizard very cool thanks for watching goodbye